morning tubers. Well, there's about 10 minutes left of morning. Mm. Right, I've been out in town already this morning. I needed some bubble wrap to uh, wrap those bike wheels with and uh, to post a couple of parcels. get the electric and uh, I decided I'd stop off at a shop called Black Records in town. Well, I've taken that out of my phone, there is. And uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I bought a Matchbox fire engine. Well, I didn't buy it, he let me have it because I uh, bought these from the same store. There's two of them. I'll get one out of the bags. And they are Sega Mega Drive 16 bit consoles. There's one, and that isn't actually what I paid for. He knocked it down to 20 quid. So I actually paid 20 pounds for both of these. There was two games. There's one Sonic. There's no cases for the games, but it's Sonic of some description. Uh, no, there's just a Sonic logo on that one. Uh, is it in this one? Yep. Yeah. There's another Sonic game. If anyone recognises the covers, and well, that's Sonic 3, that one. Ah, maybe it's on the top edge on that one. Um, no idea if they work. He said he didn't have a TV to test them on. On a Sonic 2. Okay. They're a bit dusty. I do have some cables with them. Uh, ah! Yeah, there's only one power supply, but two controllers. Get off. And it looks like I've got the, uh, the, um, antenna cable as well, so I've got everything to set them up and test them. So, my plan is to uh, make some room in this shithole. <laughs> I had the scales out yesterday to weigh those wheels just to make sure I get them in the right weight bracket for the carrier, otherwise they charge if you've uh, gone over the weight bracket. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clean up this crap, I'll put another one of them drawers for the Lego channel. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up in here, and I'm going to have a bit of a change around on the display. I think I'm going to take down the cars at least off these two shelves, and I'll clear those ones up off the floor as well. Because I've, you'll see the video before this one. I've done the video on that one. Um, I do hate it when the phone goes off, but that can ring. I don't bother. I'm, I don't bother. I don't care. It's probably someone trying to sell me something anyway, or someone wanting money from me. So that's not important. <laughs> if it's important, they'll ring back. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to take down, I'll clear at least these two shelves. Now it's a PPI thing. If you, um, if you, you know, it's one of them where you, um, uh, if you've got a loan and you've got missold PPI and they bloody ring around with their fucking services. Oops, I said the F word. I do apologise. And they ring around, you know claim today you may be owed PPI. No, I've never, never had a bloody loan in my life, so bugger off. <laughs> Actually, if I bothered to answer, I could just press 9 and opt out of their system. And that's why I uh, ignore the phone half the time, because most of the time it is just calls like that. Anyway, that distracted me. So, yeah. clear this shelf. They all need a good clean down anyway, as you can see, they're full of 
And I don't know if that's picking up well on the camera, but they are full of dust. And once that's cleared, I don't think I'll need to clear that one, but I'll need to clear at least two. Hmm. Maybe if I clear that window ledge, actually, I could swap them over to there. Or some of them, anyway. If I have a shuffle around on that shelf, I could probably get some of those boxed ones up the back there. Yeah, so I'm going to have a shuffle around. I'm not going to film that. Otherwise, this video is just going to drag on and on and on, and we've already got o over five minutes now. But uh, once I've cleared those shelves, I'm going to put my um, 70s Lego sets up there from this table, and I'm going to set my old CRT TV up on here. I knew there was a reason I kept it, because um, I've tried PlayStation 1 on this TV, but it didn't like it. It played, you know, it played the games, but the um, TV screen... I don't know if it's the wrong Hertz um, setting on it, but um, the screen was all flickery. It doesn't do it on the PS2. It plays PS2 is fine. Um, the TV seems to disagree with PlayStation 1's. Uh, I don't know if it does it with the um, t flat screen TV in the bedroom. I've only got a little sort of portable one in the bedroom. But uh, I do have my old... Um, portable CRT TV in the cupboard out there on the landing, so I'll drag that in. It should be easy to get to it. It's only on the shelf in the back there. Uh, I'll set all that up on there because I've got a power socket down on the floor there. I'll only need two. One for the power supply for the Mega Drive and one for the TV. And I could set up a PS1 in here, actually. You know, and have like a classic gaming station on this coffee table. Considering I've got all my PS1 games under there anyway. So I might as well make some sort of use for this. I think the phone can stay where it is, that's not going to get in the way. I've got one spare pair of batteries for the camera, and I've got another pair in there, so I can pretty much make as many videos as I want today. Anyway, enough rambling, I'm going to get on. And uh, as soon as I've made some good progress, I'll uh, turn the camera on again and show you what I've been up to. So uh, I'll be back very soon. Well, don't that look a lot better? <sighs> well, when I first turned the camera on, it was uh, 10 to 12, and it's now roughly 5 to 1. Now, uh, yep. 12.55 by the computer clock, so uh, I've been going for the last hour non-stop. The only thing I've got left to do is to dust everything down and move it off of that coffee table. And uh, put it on the cleared shelves. I've put all the mini, all the small die casts over here. Uh, I have got where I'm going to put the um, Ford Mustangs. Uh, I'll put the big one up there out of the way because it's not actually mine. I'll put a few of the boxed ones up the back there as well. So, yeah, the shelves are good to go. I've just taken up the beginnings of my beach down here. So I've got a bit of room without having to step over or stand on the boards. So, I just thought I'd uh, quickly turn the camera on and show the progress. So, yep, that's the next one that's got to be cleared. I'll clear that and I'll go and grab the TV and uh, we can make a start on testing the Mega Drive. So uh, I shall return. Well, I'm ready to test. Got it all set up, all connected. Uh, I haven't turned it on myself just yet. So, that could all blow. Let me dust that out of there. Insert the cartridge. Oh! Didn't even have to tune it in.
Well, this console is working. Um, got nowhere to stand yet. <laughs> I think I know that console works. Well, that was a 
bargain for 20 quid, wasn't it? To work for consoles. Level one. monkey there. Get on the platform.
jump up. Thank you. 
Underwater now. I know they both work. So, I'm happy. There's a 20 quid well spent. Not in bad condition cosmetically either.
one over the years. Both games work as well, which is also a bonus. What's going on there? <laughs> I just crashed it. I've broken up for a second there. Mega. Right. I'm going to have to look on eBay for some more games now. Lay the game on it this time gently. Pardon me. Right. Wheel over to the computer now. Ooh. Well, that's pleased me anyway. One thing I'm going to do in a little while is uh, set the PS1 up on that TV and I'm going to leave it, all that TV and whatnot, set up where it is. Yes, I know my item sold and I got paid. Okay. Let's have a look. See what they're going for on eBay, shall we? Well, there's a box bundle for $42.99. Buy it now. Wow. Let me just... I'm just going to reposition you there. There's a game there. Single game there. 35 quid, and that's a bid. Some games aren't going for a lot. Ooh. No way! I'm going to have to get that, I think. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I played that on the Master System and loved it. Can't remember if I actually completed it, though. <laughs> well, that's a definite one. Holy crap! Games Bundle, 51 games. Oh, Super Nintendo, NES, Sega Mega Drive, £185. Um, Holy... Well, I paid £20 for mine, for the Mark One. I, I thought that looked different to other Mega Drives I've seen. Bundled with two games, £32. Yeah, there's some games on here going for quite a bit of money. There's one for £62. And that's Streets of Rage 3. There's the Mark II Mega Drive. Another Mark I. Console only, 19.99. I was looking more for some cheap games I could get for it. Moonwalker's not going at a bad price, though. 
Wonder Boy. <laughs> See what I've got left after I see if I win the um, laptop I'm after. There's probably less chance to get another one of those laptops I want than I have to get one of these games because I think there's always going to be games popping up on eBay, so I'm going to. Um, Definitely go for the laptop first. Mega Swiv, I don't know what that is, but it's got a one pound bid on it. It's going to my eBay. <sighs> There's two hours and 27 minutes left on that laptop. I'll just scroll down so you can sit down. Yeah, it's this one in the picture here. Compact LTE Elite. 475CX Notebook. Four parts or repairs because it's untested and got a broken screen. But the plastics are in better condition than the one I've got, so my plan is to get it and uh, make a good one out of the two. I hope. Yeah, that Moonwalker game right there. We've got four hours, just under five hours left, three bids, £2.79. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. Seller's got 100% feedback, always check your feedback. Ah, but then again, they've only got a feedback score of one. I don't know if I'd actually trust that. Uh, it would be a gamble, I think. Uh, what we go? Oh, they ended. Oops. I didn't want them anyway, so they can be deleted. Oh dear. Oh, sag. I don't think anything has changed. No, them racing bike pedals I got a bit on, and that's it. Right, I'm going to end the video here, I think, and uh, a few other bits and bobs I can go and do. I'm getting hungry for starters. So, I think I'm going to go and get something to eat. Possibly. I don't know what yet. I don't know what I fancy anyway. Um, so, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye for now.